Hi everybody, it's Scott Smith in cloudy Southern California. Yeah, it's about 60 degrees, beautiful out here, and look what I have for you today. 2024 BMW X3 M40i. Got this baby in alpine white with the oyster leather interior. Now this is the third generation of the X3, um, codename G01. Um, one thing I do have to tell you right off the bat, um, you know, I was selling BMWs for over 20 years up to the uh, pandemic, and I was so amazed with this car, not just the third generation, but BMW did such an amazing job on the second generation. I had no problem showing my passion for this car and showing and telling my clients about it. So I really think if you're looking for a midsize, you know, seating for four comfortably five seat belts type of suv not huge and you want something that's really fun got a great acceleration and amazing handling please you need to go check out this x3 by bmw um, one thing i've talked about a lot with clients you know people might think hey this is too sporty for me you know this is just over the top it's really not because the one thing i always told my clients is you got to relate performance to safety you know that one time in your life when a situation occurs especially at higher speeds where you've got your loved ones in the car and you're going to have to make some emergency maneuvers especially out of your comfort zone what do you want to be in you want to be in the ultimate driving machine you want to be in something that's made to handle a racetrack but you're doing everyday driving so just something i thought i would mention real quick before we get into the car so let's do that right now the car is 186 inches long 74 inches wide and 66 inches tall. You got a wheelbase of 112. You got ground clearance of eight inches. And then look at these wheels. Oh man, I love BMW styling. Um, the car is just under 4,400 pounds. And you gotta think, weight ratio front to rear is less than 2%. Thank you, BMW, for making such a well-balanced car. So these wheels here, these are the 21s. These are an upgrade from the standard wheel. It's a 21-inch M double, smoke, double spoke, bi-color, jet black wheel. Um, you got styling, seven, uh, 718M with performance run flats. Now you've got 21 by 8.5 up front, and you got 21 by 9.5 in the back okay let's see that ground clearance now the rear track is over an inch and a half wider than the front so you got some nice stance in the back as you can see there and then look at the bmw styling of the m performance lineup there's an m in the title so you know we got some attitude with this car back on the lci back in 2022 did a phenomenal job on these three-dimensional lights. I mean, they're dark, the lighting, very cool. Let's see it from the back. And then the bumper, you know, just stretching it out. And look at the black shadow line trim and the trim around the pipes they upgraded back in 22. Just very sweet, a lot of attitude. This car does have the upgraded M shadow line package. So we'll check out the front here. But the roof rails, the trim around the windows, I really like the contrast of the Alpine white with the black. And then this one's also got the M shadow line lights in it. So you can see the internal part of the light, pretty much most of it's all gonna be blacked out except for some highlights and some little bit of upgrades. And then look at that. Uh... Oh yeah, she's got, she's sneaking in a blinker here very cool we'll check out the back in just a second let's go to the back and look at the blinker real quick let's do that very nice job but let's check out that grill we've got going on here too you know bmw's put so much angling and design in here with the with the um, with the shadowing and everything just to really to give an aggressive look Very nice. Well, I know you guys are waiting for some rev time. Let's do some rev time, Trish. <laughs> oh, thank you, BMW. Nice job. Coefficient of drag on this baby is 0.29. And you know any SUV getting under 0.3 is doing a great job. Hey, Trish. 
How's it going? Awesome, good to hear. Let's show them the power plant. All right, here we go. We got a three liter M twin power turbo six cylinder, 24 valve. And we got a producing 382 horsepower, 5,800 RPMs, and 369 foot-pounds of torque at a low 1,800 RPMs. Zero to 60, 4.4. And then yes, this does have the 48 volt uh, mild hybrid. Gives you a nice 11 horsepower boost on those accelerations. And then makes that auto start stop basically just seamless, like it's not even doing it. So thanks BMW. Let's go ahead and head to the back seat with Trish. She's 5'9 without the heels. Let's see, she had the front. <laughs> she had that front seat where she was comfortable. So now let's see how she fits. But first, let me show you off the sticker real quick here. Oh, it's going to show up with the tint. But yeah, we got there's our gas mileage 21 and 26 with an average of 23. So we will look over the sticker when we get into the car a little bit more. Trish, how you doing back here? Great. Plenty of room. Yeah, definitely not bad at all, huh? And then what about the seat functions? So if you're on a long trip, you can go ahead and pull this lever here and this will allow you to... Down a little farther, oh, right down sorry, there. There one. it is. Yep. And then go ahead and do that back and forth real quick just so, so they can see the range. So you've got it there and then she can lean back just for it to be even more comfortable. I think there's probably at least six different settings there depending on what kind of angle you want. If you want to sit straight up or not or if you want a little bit more forward because of cargo in the back this does have the carbon fiber trim inside and then i do have my owala water bottle here 24 ounce as you can see fits great in here so they did think about that for all us with water bottles we like to carry around great storage and then let's get back inside for a second and check out the roof because we did want to bring in some sunlight We've obviously had this great roof for years, but really nice to open it up and really show off the oyster interior. All right, let's go ahead. We'll have Trish come out. I guess we'll do the trunk here, and then we'll show some more in the back seat in just a minute, but obviously a full power tailgate. And there's about, I think, gosh, maybe four settings for height adjustment, maybe more. So just in case this is a little too high for the garage or the parking space you're in, you can obviously adjust it in the iDrive system um, up front. And now you've got 28 cubic feet of storage back here with the seats up. And then we'll have Trish, because there was really something cool that BMW did, I think, on the last generation, is that uh, the security shade here, we can just pop this guy right on out, cargo cover, and we've got storage right underneath the floor instead of having it somewhere in the back area while you're piling your cargo in there. So you can leave it in there all the time if you want or obviously put it back into place. Trish is gonna drop the seats for us. Go ahead and drop that one. So now you go up to 62 cubic feet of storage. So you can move a ton of stuff if you need to or take a nap, huh, Trish? Yep. <laughs> okay, Trish's gonna put those up. I'm gonna come around so we can show you a couple things in the back seat here because the center part comes all the way down. So just in oh, case, this one. yeah, just in case if you need to run stuff through and you still have passengers, skis, etc. And then obviously you've got your cup holders with your armrest. Very nice. And then you have the adjustable seats on both sides. You know, obviously I can drop from here, but I do also then have that reclining feature right there. Very easy. And then the center console, obviously we have uh, temperature control. And then we have kind of, you know, you can adjust, looks like positioning maybe too. And then you have your charging ports there. What do you think, Trish? You like this interior? I love it. It's my Very favorite cool. interior. Very nice. Cool. Let's jump out. We'll head up to the front seat. There's your carbon fiber trim. Oh, and this car has been upgraded with the Harman Kardon surround sound system with 600 watts and 16 speakers. Yes, you do have them underneath the seats in the front, so you can definitely rock out. Man, look at all the cameras. I'm telling you, the technology and the safety systems of this car, too. Please do the research on the X3, because I know they've got some really nice safety awards that they've gotten 
But man, what some beautiful styling. I mean, look at all the side lines and shadowing that BMW has done on here. Attitude everywhere. You got your M Sport brakes, and we got our four calipers up front, single caliper in the back. And look at that, that front rotor, I think it's over 13 and a half inches diameter. So you definitely, BMW's never had problems with their stopping power distances. I think they're one of the top in their class um, against their competition. So, uh, but this one being a little sportier, more horsepower, more torque. You've got an adaptive M suspension in here included. So I can tell you the M40s, uh, these M performance lineup cars are definitely made to have a ton of fun, but also to elevate your confidence behind the wheel because of handling. Okay, let's get inside. How's it going? Good. Let's see, oh, I wanna come around and show the driver's seat real quick before I get inside. Let's do that, don't wanna miss that. Okay, let's get down here. So we got some awesome sport seats in here. And that one thing that's nice is you got the width adjustment right here, which I really like because you're doing canyon driving, windy roads. You can really give a lot of that support to the side here, especially for long trips. And then you have your lumbar support right there for you. And then I like too, because you can angle the front of the seat up so you can get more hamstring support behind the knees. And then there is an extension there. Um, you know, obviously if you've got the longer legs and you want more support, okay? And then we do still have the stickers on this new car, but you can see the M badge along the door seals here. And then we'll come over to the driver's side. Unlock and lock is over here on the doors. You can see the memory. You can lock out the rear windows from the kids, fold the mirrors in, or there's the automatic mirror folding feature in the iDrive system, and great storage. Obviously, the cup holders are huge in the door. That way, you can have your coffee in the middle, <laughs> middle console on Trish. <laughs> yes. And then let's go ahead and look at the steering wheel. Got all your quick controls there, heated steering wheel button. Paddle shifters on the back. And then how's the leather? Nice? Oh, it's great. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll move over to the other side. Oh, Trish. Hey, Trish. Let's do rev time. We'll do one more rev time. Why not? Ah, oh, that never gets old. Sweet. All right, let's get inside with Trish here. Okay, let me get in. Okay, look at this, our info screen, it's over 12 inches. You definitely got all the information we're running. I think I drive seven in here. So you got your different templates and a lot of that stuff you can customize. But obviously you can get right over to Nav if you want, put in the information. Set up your BMW app and your account, then you got a lot of voice commands and things that you can do, very easy. And then look at your console there, very cool. Can you put it in the different settings, Trish? Sure. So we're in sport right now, because I think we just leave it in that forever, don't we? What about eco and... Oh, yes. There you go. So you can see the different colors. So depending on what setting in, you can easily quickly see where you are. You can see the map information right there in the center. Well, you can see sport. Boy, you push it in a sport thing, wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can see BMW has really simplified the the um, buttons and stuff. So you got quick memory buttons that you can assign for a lot of different things there, just right on top. So places you might go, addresses you might like, you can set them up. So we did in our BMW. We just set up the home address. Yeah, and then there's your settings for an intelligent, intelligent safety systems. Oh, let's put it in reverse, just so we can see the camera. So you can see here, you've got really nice setup for different views, just in case you're in some tight spots. Yeah, and then you got your, there we go. Cool. All right. What do you want to go over, Trish? Anything? I think what do you we think? covered it. Covered a lot, huh? Wireless mm -hmm. charging there for big phones. Cup holders are great. Let's show, them the, let's show them the center console here and just show them the storage. There's the key. You can see we've got plug in there. Okay. And then you can see your iDrive controller here. Quick buttons to get to where you need to go. And then what we're going to do is we'll have Trish take off with the launch, not launch mode, but we'll put it in sport mode and have some fun with it. Let me jump out. Hopefully she'll come back and pick me up. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video of the X3.
M40i. One of the funnest SUVs slash SAV on the market. Please, considering this size, go and test drive one. Oh boy, what is she gonna do? Here we go. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. Let's see, oh good, Whew. she's coming back to pick me up. Hey, thanks to all my subscribers and longtime watchers for uh, sharing my videos and stuff. Thank you very much, everybody. Woo! All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.